All right, guys. I decided to build my own preacher curl bench just to see how it turns out. So I kind of already got started here. I got a bunch of old 2x4s laying around, so I figured I'd go ahead and put them to use. So these are all weathered and dirty and everything else, but they're going to work. So this bottom piece right here is 48 inches long, and these are 16 inches upright. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to get two of these and put another one right here. I'm going to build a box that comes around like this. I'm going to put a piece in the middle that comes straight up for the the part where you put your arm on, the armrest. I'm going to put another box right here like that. And that's going to be where the bar sits. There's going to be two of these built identical. And then I'm going to bridge it with a seat here. And I'm going to bridge it down here on the bottom with a brace. So right now what I did is I got a 2x4 and cut it to 48 inches. And then I cut uh, two at 16. I'll show you what it looks like when I get the other one cut and put in place. So here's my other one. This is 24 inches long, two foot. Put those right across top. And that's going to be where my seat's at. This is just a regular finishing gun, finishing nails. I got it at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks. I'm just tacking it in place with this so that way I can build it and see how it looks, see how it feels. And whenever I'm done, I'm going to go and get some brackets, some little corner brackets and elbow brackets. And that's what I'm going to actually use to secure this thing up so that way it's not all rickety and wobbly if I like the way it ends up being after I get done building it. So that right there is the seat. And then I'm going to put something across the top up here to sit down on and then we're going to build the rest of it. Okay, so now I got my my uprights cut out right here 34 inches tall and this is what's going to be the main upright for my armrest. Same thing. I'm going to take it I'm just going to tack it in place with my finishing nail gun so that way if I decide I don't like it I can just easily tear it apart and do something different. These right here are 14 inches long. These are going to be right here and right here. And the whole purpose of this is you're going to lay another 2x4 across the top and that's where your weight's going to rest whenever you're not in the middle of your set. Right, these are cut to 22 inches. Um, this was actually a stud, the base. I said it was 48 inches earlier. Um, it was actually 97 because it was actually a stud. So it was 94 inches instead of 96 inches. So this is 47 inches on the bottom. So all my measurements here are right except for the first one I told you all right here, which was actually 47 and not. 48 which would be four feet so th these pieces right here are 22 so these are going to go right here on top just like that all right so here's for the armrest i cut it out of 30 and then whatever was flush to be up and down. So I, what I did was I cut 30 to get my angle, what I wanted, and then I just took a 2x4, ran it across here, and then I marked it so that way it'll be flush so I can bring another one down.
Okay, so these angle cuts aren't perfect because I don't really have the tool that I need to make them perfect. If I had a miter saw, it'd be amazing, but I don't. So I'm working with what I got. So these pieces right here are right at 10 and 3 quarters. And these right here are roughly around 9 inches long. This one's a little bit longer than that one. That's just because I had a little bit difficulty getting the angle. But again, if I had the right tools, it'd be different. I'm not claim to be a carpenter or a craftsman. I just like building shit now, man. Okay, it started kind of getting dark outside, so I had to move inside my shed. I don't know if y'all can hear me or what, but... So that's going to be my seat, that's 6 inches by 24, that's going to be my armrest, that's 9 inches by 24, like that, and like that, pretty simple. So I'm going to get these now together real quick, and then I'll see what else I have to do. Alright, just a few more things to do. So this is going to be my bar stop right here, it prevents my bar from rolling off. I know I didn't need to go with a 2x4 all the way across, but... It kind of makes it more sturdy and stable. I got one across the floor as well just to add to some stability. I added some little 45s, which aren't exactly little 45s. They're not cut perfectly, but they solid, like make it pretty solid. There's my little bench seat. I might put a pad on that. I might not. I might put a pad on the armrest. I might not. All right, here we are, final product. Got the pads on, got it painted black, everything in place, everything's done. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. it turned out pretty good. So to show you all how I put these bolts on here is I took, before I even put the pads on, I, I screwed the plywood piece on here. And then I took a drill and I drilled all the way through with the drill bit, right? I drilled all the way through into this piece of this 2x4 right here, if y'all can see that in there. So this bolt actually goes into this stud. It actually goes into there. Same thing for that one over there. And then what I had to do is I had to put it in there just a little bit, put the washer on, and start threading the nut. And that way I could get four bolts in there, two on each side. And then for the bottom ones right here. And that's it, man. Pretty simple.